everyone, my name is T and you're watching Let's Take a Look. At this time, when we're all at home and there is no going to school, I thought to share a few topics with you guys, connect and discuss. So for today, let's talk about exponents. Exponents sounds a little funny, huh? That's because in a lot of countries, exponents is known as indices. That's right, indices. But I'm Canadian, so I'll stick with exponents. But the good thing is, no matter what the word, they mean the same thing. So if you ever hear indices ex instead of exponents, you know that they mean the same thing. Exponents tells us to multiply a number a certain number of times. You might be reminded of multiplication. That's right. In multiplication, it's like repeated addition. And in exponents, it's like repeated multiplication. Just to help you, let's review multiplication. If we have the question 2 times 5, then what does that mean? That means 2 5 times. That means 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Long, right? Instead of writing this big equation, we make it into multiplication. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. That's multiplication. 2 times 5 adding the same number an amount of times. Then how does that connect to exponents? Because in exponents, we're adding, we're multiplying a number a certain number of times. So it's a large number that we're making it smaller to look at. For example, if we have the exponent two to the fourth power, that means two times two times two times two. two times 2, times 2, times 2. We'll get to why the numbers are big and smaller and why they're shaped that way in just a second. But 2 times 2, we would get the answer to that. That would be 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 times 2 is 16. So in total, 2 to the 4th power would be 16. That's why it's just like repeated addition. So multiplication shows repeated addition and exponents show repeated multiplication. We'll see, an, we'll see more examples of exponents in just a minute, but let's talk about why exponents look this way. Exponents involve two numbers. The first number is the one that gets multiplied repeatedly a, num a certain number of times, and it's written in full size. And it's called the base. So this number is called the base. The second number tells us how many copies to make of the base. The second number is written in a smaller form on the very top of the line. And it's called the exponent. Or in other, other words, it's called the index. And when reading exponents, some interesting terminology is used. This exponent would usually be read as 2 to the power of 4. Or, or to make it easier, 2 to the 4th. If we had another exponent, such as the one over here, this one would be called 3 to the power of 5. Or 3 to the 5th. And this exponent... would be called 10 to the 6th power, or 10. Get the idea? And you might also hear people say that a number is raised to a certain amount, you know, because it sounds kind of cool. Unfortunately, that terminology has created a little bit of confusion. This terminology has created the confusion because people started thinking that the power and exponent meant the same thing. Normally, when we would say, it would mean that the base would be multiplied to the exponent. But when people started saying things like two to the fourth power, it sounded like the exponent meant the same thing as power. The result is that nowadays you may hear people use the word exponent and power to mean the same thing. Unfortunately, the terms has be have become mixed up or wonky. But as long as you understand that the base is the number that gets multiplied repeatedly 
and the exponent tells you how many times to copy the base, you're in good shape. But I know what you're thinking now. Where's the operator symbol? If exponents are math operations, don't we need a symbol that goes between them? Like there is with multiplication and other arithmetic operations? Well, yes and no. The exponent 2 to the fourth power, the way it's written already shows what it is. With a larger version and a smaller version of a number, you can already tell that it's an exponent. But when you're using a computer, sometimes you get mixed up. That's when we use the caret symbol. The caret symbol looks like this. Or in some computers, like this. Whichever way it's written, it means exponents. Most of the time, we don't need a special operation symbol because, again, the way they're written. But, of course, when we're using a computer or we're writing and you might seem a little, mis um, you're, you have bigger handwriting or little problems with writing, you might want to put the caret symbol in just in case. Now, let's find out how to do these exponents. If we work with, with these three exponents right now, 2 to the first power, 2 to the second power, and 2 to the third power, we're doing the simple ones. These two symbols actually have their own name. When we would do this, it's known as 2 squared. And this would be 2 cubed. Let me tell you why that is. A square is a 2D shape. So when we work a lot with 2D shapes. So exponents would be used in 2D shapes to find out what the, what the um, area or the perimeter of the 2D shape is. So that's why we call it squared. It's a 2D shape. On the other hand, a cube is a 3D shape. And to find out the area or the perimeter of a cube, we would use exponents that are cubed or have the exponent power of 3 to them. If you have to figure out what the exponent 3 to the fifth power is, you would still have to do it, you would still have to multiply 3 together 5 times. And you can do it manually or using a calculator to help you. But Whatever your answer is in the end, is your answer. For now, we've only talked about single digit exponents and how to do them. But as crazy as it sounds, exponents can be in negative numbers, exponents can be in very large numbers, and exponents can also be in decimals. So this exponent instead of 84 might just be 8.4. But we'll save the advanced for another time. In the last part of the video, I want to focus on the, the most common factors or the most common exponents, two and three. As we've already talked about, two has its own name and three has its own name. The exponent two and the exponent three. The exponent two is known as squared. So since we use the exponent 2 very often, instead of saying x to the power of 2, you could say x squared. And instead of saying x to the power of 3, you could just say x cubed. These are very common. So when using, you might just end up memorizing some of these. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys got it.